you, Hana. Thank you. Please be seated. How do you like a beautiful Christmas tree on the lobby? I never seen that tall Christmas tree before my life. I don't know where they brought uh, this uh, uh, Christmas tree. I think Montana, very far north. And they delivered last week. And they prepared. And day and night, even last night, I saw, you know, Grandlin, some other security brothers, they go top of the tree and putting that uh, that uh, a little light uh, over there. And then, you know, that uh, computer graphic, that fireworks. Did you see that? So when I come in this morning, chilly weather, when I step in that front door, warm spirit came to me. Oh, I, I was a little chilly, but when I come in the lobby, warm Spirit came to me and embraced me. Welcome you to come Las Vegas Family Church. So behind that Christmas tree, many brothers and sisters, day and night, whole week, they prepared. Let's give them big hand. Let's give big hand. Yes, thank you. This wonderful spirit. Living for the sake of others, especially young, our second gen, third generation coming in and taking picture together, their mom and dad, parents, and create this spirit of holiday and Christmas. Not only we're looking for holiday big discount sales, we're coming to church. Las Vegas family church, we seen this Christmas tree, and then we really want to cultivate the family, centering on God, centering on true parents, uh, practicing that culture of heart, living for the sake of others. This is our family place. Paul said, follow me. Where is Deborah? Oh, Deborah. You said that, right? Paul said, follow me. Not just they are talking about Jesus. Not just talking about Jesus' love. Paul said, follow me. I will lead you to heavenly parent. How? Practice and witnessing. What true parents today say. I'm not just talking to you. I'm not just teaching you divine principle and Chonishim on seven days workshop. What Deborah testified through mother leading us as my sons and daughters follow me. I will lead you to heavenly parent, the kingdom of heaven on us. Not in heaven, on us. That answer, core value on this family place. Leading value. So whenever your spirit went down, I have no power to up and weed. Number one. And next morning again, number two. So today, again, number three, go one week, and finally you read number eight, you will stand up. This is true father. Guideline. Guideline for the kingdom of heaven on us. Now, first of all, I like to pay attention today. What happened last week here in the city of Las Vegas? We lost our innocent UNLB professors, 
three of them killed by unprincipled men, not knowing about God, not knowing about God's love, not knowing about how to create the kingdom of heaven on us, living for the sake of others. Instead of that, killed his fellow colleague, faculty members, UNLB. And we lost two state trooper, two sergeant. Not related to this, but this uh, unprincipled man, drunken and this innocent, dedicated for the sake of our city, our state. They killed our Las Vegas family church. Let us have one minute silent prayer for our dear brothers and sisters who protect each one of us and teaching our younger generation for the sake of our city and for the sake of this nation and this state. Silent pray. Thank you. Thank you. You know, two Sundays ago, you know, our Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department sent two police, one man, one woman, to our Korean festival. The Mimi and Pep organized, and Heidi, and they invited two police to our Chun Shimon. And I thought they came and just they enjoy Korean meal, and I thought they are living. They stayed whole program from beginning to end. That is our state, our Las Vegas Metropolitan Police. They are serving our community and protecting our community. So thank you, your service. And we have many Japanese family members, our community. So we heard even one Japanese professor is one of three victims. They didn't know why these things are happening. So this is, we are living this kind of community. So I pack third floor, I can look down city of Las Vegas, skyline, strip, and I bless and pray city of Las Vegas. What father told, what mother told, this IPAC, you have to invite. Everyone, last weekend, over 100,000 people visited city of Las Vegas. Entertainment, conventions, and their enjoyment, their entertaining their life, their family. Where they're going. So I pray, God. True Father in the Spirit, please invite these souls to today, Las Vegas Family Church. So we have here over 100,000 thousands good spirit dear ancestors. Let's welcome them. Let's welcome them. You will be saved, your descendant. 
you will make this city of Las Vegas. God sent the city of Las Vegas, holy of holies. That is true parent's ideal. Let's make it Las Vegas, God-centered city of America, city of all around the world. Today, one more thing. What is today five big news today? Did you watch CNN? One of five big news about the tornado. Severe tornado came. Where? Oh. East Coast, Tennessee, yes, especially Tennessee. So, dear brothers and sisters, Tennessee, I really pray for your safety. I never seen that kind of tornado hitting houses, stores, and shopping mall. And I never seen electric pole, each cut half and flying. So I really pray for our dear brothers and sisters, state of Tennessee. They are very small state. And do you know what happened? This most state, our church family members came to seven days Chun Shimon workshop. Can you believe it? Every, almost everybody, one by one. So especially I remember that state of Tennessee. Even today, uh, she is a Lake Queen from Tennessee. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Mm -mm -mm. And I think she is here, so I don't think uh, any problem. Her family or her house break down or anything happened, maybe. Mm. So this is my condolences on these victims today. And based on that, I'd like to share today my speech on only begotten daughter. So first, I'd like to share this scripture, uh, Matthew 12, 31. I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven man, but the blasphemy against the spirit will not be forgiven. Whoever against my will, you will be forgiven. Whoever against Holy Spirit, will not be forgiven. Anyone who speaks a word against the Son of a Man will be forgiven. But anyone who speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Either in this age or in the age to come. This is message. With this message in our mind, we know what Holy Spirit means. We know what is God's will. If you want to know detail, come to seven days workshop. Like Deborah, you will have a transforming experiences. Incredible how Jesus mentioned John word will save you. One word of course killed people. Misunderstanding. Truth 
True Mother came 2019. I mentioned before this, but I like to remind you again. Peace start with me. Year 2019, June 22nd, MGM Grand Market Ballroom. Who was there? Or oh, maybe half. Do you remember what your mother says so? James did already give you a right answer, but quite very quiet today. <laughs> she doesn't want to make a mistake. Anybody remember? True mother came and big rally. Over 10,000 people gathered and attentively people listening. Only through a movement to attending God can human being and the planet to heal. Only attending God resolve everything. What happened last week here in Las Vegas because of we don't have this principled message from true mother and heaven. What true mother said, attending God and we can solve all kinds of problems together with the only begotten daughter, true mother. So this is continue true mother mention every public messages. Come with me and follow me. I will lead you the kingdom of heaven on us. God prepared for us as sons and daughters of God can stay eternally peace, happiness, freedom, and unification. That is ideal of heavenly parent, that is ideal of our dear true parent. And let us make America beautiful. Attending God, uniting with the only begotten daughter, only begotten son, and let us build America Beautiful, a beautiful earthly kingdom of heaven. This is true mother's main message, 2019, June 22nd, MGM. MGM symbolized city of Las Vegas. So what we have to do it? Follow true mother. What true mother said? Not only we are listening, we got to understand, but we have to action. Why? That is a teaching of true mother's memoir. What is memoir make it sense to us? Just reading, inspire, yes. This is a textbook, tool of understanding true matter. Tool of understanding only begotten daughter. Have you read this one? Several times. Oh, that means, uh, James, you understand everything, page one to page, uh, what? And a lot more. That's why Chun Shimon, we read every day this place and true mother's memoir. Understanding 
close to true mother, true father, that close to kingdom of heaven on earth. Mother of peace. Once again, I came into this world as the only begotten daughter. God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. And I came into the world as the only begotten daughter, as a hen embraces her brood. Thank you, true mother. Thank you. Yeah, let's give them true mother a big hand, yes. Christianity and the only begotten daughter. From the moment of the fall, God worked his providence to send his only begotten son and only daughter to humankind. This is my conclusion. And before I entered my conclusion, many our family members, they concern. You know, how can I testify? How can I use this only begotten daughters to our candidate of witnessing? We have many contact. But true mother said, she spoke straight. But we are not still you know, straight talk. Oh, we, when we talk like that, I wonder who, how many people, my candidate of witnessing or blessing, they might misunderstand and they might away from me. And today, I have a very great and excellent example. One couple reach out high top scholars around the nation. They call American Academy of Religion. They going to have big convention next year, UNLB March. This couple, please come together. This couple, They have a one-page proposal. Only begotten daughter he, here. I like to present new truths to each one of you, scholars. That West Coast president is Berkeley professor, and after he check this proposal with his committee, they approved. Please come and present only begotten daughter. Let's give them big hand. <laughs> so share how you approach it, this top scholars witnessing only begotten daughter. Nee. Thank you, Dr. Kim. Oh, oh. <laughs> Thank you, thank you for this uh, this opportunity. So this now I need my slides if you have them available. Yeah, uh, sorry, I, the color is not so good. But this is the the title of our presentation is the Mother of Peace and the Divine Feminine. So the American Academy of Religion is a, an organization of professors of religion and biblical studies all around the country. So this is a presentation for the West region our West region is going to have a conference uh, in March. You can see, maybe you can see, <laughs> the, the dates are March 15th to 17th at UNLV. So we particularly felt we have to do something to witness about True Mother. 
So looking, looking, there's many different doors, which one is going to open? So eventually we found one door that opened. Um, so we'd like to read. Uh, actually, we were, Dr. Grace and I worked on it together, and we're going to present it together. So that's, uh, that's also part of our witness. So let me, uh, let me just read that. Can you take this? Okay, maybe the next slide. So this is, this is our proposal. A queen of the universe was prophesied before the birth of the baby girl who became Dr. Hak Jahan Moon, also known as the Mother of Peace. She is now the leader of the unification movement after the passing of her husband, Reverend Samyang Moon. So first point is I want them to know very clearly who we're talking about. And so there's nothing, nothing vague here at all. Then we have to attract those scholars somehow. And so it turned out that in this particular group, the leading uh, professors, one of them studies Indian religions, Hindu traditions. Another one studies Chinese religions. So I use some examples from there. Okay. So I mean, this sounds kind of academic, but please forgive me for that. Internally, it's... It's there. This paper, yeah, we can go to the next, good. This paper seeks to locate the mother of peace among the symbols of the divine feminine. Its method is comparative and exploratory. For example, the 52 years of her married life resembled Lakshmi, who attends and supports her charismatic husband. Now, like Parvati, the Mother of Peace displays spirituality and authority in her own right, in the roles of primary teacher, ordainer of rituals, and executive leader. Indeed, already during her lifetime, the shape of her future role is forming like the goddess Mazu. So uh, here I'd like to mention that um, on November 30th, about nine days ago, the Catholic Church Pope Francis met a group of cardinal at the meeting of a Council of Cardinal and request them to reflect the feminine dimension of the church. The cardinal said to them that the church is woman. If you don't understand who women are, what the theology of a woman is, you will never understand the church. So the, card, uh, the Pope encouraged the theologians to help, quote, demasculinize, unquote, the church. Yeah, this is very recent news. So let's come back to this the second half of the, this 250 words of proposal. Next slide. With her nurturing nature, she manifests divine feminine virtue, like, uh, such as kindness, patience, resilience, empathy, and faithfulness. The paper will explore these qualities through her initiative for the environment, the works of compassion, and the teachings. She emphasizes that it is time to reveal the feminine aspect of God, the heavenly mother hidden throughout history. Correspondingly, she describes herself as the only begotten daughter. The next slide, please. The mother of peace has given birth to 14 children through her own body, and now she's traveling the world to give liberation and blessings as the birthing and healing process for a new humanity. From her base in the shine, shining city of Las Vegas, she is transforming the unification movement to benefit the world. Thank you. There's a picture of two parents, but maybe it's a uh, maybe you know what the yeah there we go. So thank you very much for the chance to share a little bit.
one more time, big hand. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much. And your boldness, your confidence, and exactly you try to follow a true mother's uh, pattern and format and testify proud of our dear true parents as the second coming Messiah, only begotten son and only begotten daughter. This is my conclusion today, only begotten daughter. My final PowerPoint presentation This part Yes From today's Gardibu Anybody know what is Gardibu? Gardibu Anybody try to follow up this Gardibu every day? Oh Thank you. By the way, happy birthday. Yeah, she, she had a happy birthday uh, yesterday. Let's give them a big hand, yes. And today's carnival. True parents eventually will go to the spirit world. Then what will happen to humankind? who will inherit the mission of a true parents, and what does that mission Our mission entail? If you are truly my children, you will inherit my position. Heavenly fortune will protect that position for eternity. No matter how much the people of the world deny that you are the children of true parents, they will not be able to sever this relationship between true parents and children. Do you have the kind of mindset you have to inherit the mission of true parents 100% being Tribal messiahs means that you stand in the position of a true parents' children. This is the position of perfected children of a true parents. Tribal messiahship is the gift that true parents bequeath to you. True parents are more important than anything. This is the conviction you must keep in your heart always. They are the original human beings. You must live with the true parents, focusing on them in mind and body. They have the original position of Adam and Eve. The very first thing that should come to your mind must be, he is my father. She is my mother. Whenever you call out God, your mind and body must both be saying, you are my father, you are my mother. You have to reclaim this concept. True parents have to fill up your mind and body completely. Everything starts from there. That is the most fundamental concept. Your thinking must reach out at least that level. So please keep in this mind uh, our week and then have a wonderful Sunday and wonderful Christmas and have a great week. God bless you, each one. <laughs>